What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we got some surprise vape mail, so stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we have some surprise vape mail. Probably the best kind of vape mail, don't you think? You get a surprise vape mail, you're not expecting it. I have no idea what's in here. Honestly, it's from PostNL, so I'm guessing it's from GearBest. If it is, thank you again, GearBest, for sending me more stuff without even, I didn't even know this was coming, so that is unbelievable. Thank you so much for that. But if it isn't from GearBest, then we'll find out who it is from and give the proper thanks to those individuals as well. Although being from PostNL, I would be very shocked if it wasn't from GearBest. So this could be interesting. What we're going to do, dive down and dirty, unbox this vape mail edition, uh, or this, this surprise edition of vape mail. And what we'll do is look over what we got. I will give thanks to the proper people who sent this out to me. And then, of course, what we're going to do afterwards is I'm actually going to ramble a little bit. I feel like rambling today. So this is going to be like two episodes in one. If you just came for the vape mail, you can just stay for the vape mail and leave after that. If you want to listen to me ramble on a little bit at the end of this, I will have it after the vape mail. So with that being said, let's get down and dirty with the surprise vape mail. All right, guys, got my trusty knife again. We're going to cut away from myself this time. I kind of feel like I'm getting dangerous or more and more dangerous every time because I always cut toward myself. This time we're going to cut away. And my knife is extremely dull, which is absolutely fantastic. But we're going to open it up. And already, just by the way, the paper's folded. I'm fairly certain this is from GearBest. I'll just open this little receipt off camera. And this is, in fact, from GearBest. Yes. So, big thank you again to GearBest. Thank you so much for sending me more stuff to review. I'm going to have my hands full for the next couple weeks with reviews because of you guys. So, thank you so much. In the meantime, let's get back at it and see what we have in the package. All right. We're going to tear this open right here. The first thing we are greeted with is the iJoy RDTA box. Nice. Hopefully you guys can see that. 200 watt uh, TC mod, 12.8 milliliter capacity, IMC interchangeable deck system. Really looking forward to that. Look at the side here. I think that's the right way. There we go. 200 watt temp control upgrade, 0.96 inch LED or OLED. 12.8 mil capacity, you have a warning there. If you want to read that, you are more than welcome to pause the video. iJoySig.com. Going on to the back of the box, we have the contents, product features, and of course, on the front, just a picture of the RDTA box. And this looks like it's been open from the bottom, so it probably went through customs, and if it did, well, you know what happens. So let's just see. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's big though. This is a big mod. This might be the biggest mod I've seen. Just absolutely huge. And I think this is where the batteries are. Just slides down like that. There you go, pretty nicely labeled, positive, negative. And a uh, pretty decent battery slide here. Feels a little bit more like, uh, like a solid plastic as opposed to like the flimsy stuff I've been seeing more and more recently. But anyways, so we'll slide that back on. Then we got the RDTA deck. Take that off, there it is. Nice little velocity style deck with the uh, the one grub not coming loose. Oh man, those are like sputtery smooth, just trying to get that in there again. But anyways, so there it is, there's the deck. Kind of just, uh, cotton would just wick down into there. And yeah, well, I'll do a full review on that one of course, for sure. And then this just basically screws right back on. Oh, I keep going off camera here, sorry guys. Nice airflow slots as well, I like that. Drip tip looks to be proprietary. That's okay, we'll see at the bottom of the box if, uh, if it includes anything else. This would obviously be for your juice. That, see, now this is what I like. This is gonna fit, I could put my gallon jug up against this and it'll fill no problem. That's what I like to see, some big fill holes. Good job, Ajoy. Someone finally listened to me and stopped making those tiny little juice fill holes. Great job, all right. So, now I actually it's kind of ironic because the biggest fill hole is on the tank or the, it's not really a tank, but the, the reservoir of, of a device that has the largest capacity and you have to fill it the least often. So to fill the least often, all of a sudden it has the biggest fill hole, which I guess makes sense because it's larger, 
but it also doesn't really make sense because you're filling it less often, so it's less of a pain in the ass than, say, the TFE8. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, let's take a look at what's in the bottom of this box before... Oh, yes, it just fell off. Anyways, uh, take a look at what's in the bottom of the box. And, wow, you got a lot of stuff in here. Got your USB cable. I'm not going to call it a charge cable just yet. You have a... Actually, these are kind of cool. These are like drip tip caps. I've seen these become more and more popular recently, and uh, just on my Facebook, it seems to get advertising for it. You also have this little cap here. I believe that would be for your juice reservoir. You have your other deck here. This one has a tri-coil pre-built. Very nice. Oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe that rubber is for the bottom of the uh, the deck there. You also got some uh, little brush here. I'm guessing that's cleaning utensil. And then a screwdriver as well. Although, does that screwdriver fit the bolts? I don't think it does. Because I'm pretty sure it came with grub nuts. So why are they giving you a star screwdriver with it? I have to double check that. That's interesting. Anyways, this isn't supposed to be a review, but I'm getting carried away here. Uh, we do see a drift tip adapter right there, so that is excellent. Some pre-made coils as well right there. A little bit of cotton to help you along the way if you're struggling. And some uh, some seals here as well. And then, of course, spare grub nuts. And let's just check these out since they're in the bag. Are the grub nuts like a hex ohm or hex key, or are they actually... St oh, you know what? Those appear to be star grub nuts. Hang on. They are. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get it to focus. I'm trying to get it. There we go. Okay. You can see there is a star grub nut. Interesting. Very nice. Very nice. Well done, iJoy. Well, it looks like you uh, you knew where I was going with that, and you beat me to the punch. So that is the iJoy RDTA. Let's take a look at what else we got, because we still have more vape mail, guys. Looks like we have one more item in here. I will toss it off to the side. And this, oh, okay. This is the Stars 80 watt box. This thing is really, really nice. I was looking at it online actually, and I was actually waiting on picking one of these up myself. This is a first use, colorful hybrid stone, customize any color on big screen. Um, interesting, but I, I was looking at these online and I'm really excited to see how this works. Visually, it's absolutely stunning. Let me just take a quick, little uh, slit here so I can help open my open the box and oh and I think there's no there's not a tab there anyways open the box up and see what we got put the garbage off the side okay a little bit better visual aspect of it it's kind of like a purple stone color like almost like a almost like a purple stab wood just really nice all right let's open this up there it is. Look at that. That just shows really, really nicely. Get the full mod in there. Wow. That is, this is for sure going to be um, a collector piece for me. I'm not going to be using it too often. I will have to use it for the review, obviously. But after that, I think I'm just going to like kind of retire it and put it off to the side because this is just stunning. You got your sled down here and it uh, looks like it should just push out. Although it also looks like it has plastic over top of it. So yeah, it does. Okay, so there's plastic over top of this. Probably why well, I can't pull it off. Just like that. Okay, now it should come off. We will see. Yep, no problem there. Single 18650 it appears to be. I will confirm that for the review for it. But uh, really nice. Stars negative. So it's actually not only labeled, but it actually has the uh, abbreviation there. Designed by stars. Uh, that's gonna be fun to say not gonna lie. That's gonna be really fun to say and that's probably gonna get old fast Look at the connections on that Really nice. Looks like it's gold-plated. Even the screws look to be gold-plated there Just screams quality all of links to all this stuff in the description below They'll most likely be affiliate links So if you do end up buying something with those links, it does help me out a little bit I usually get a couple bucks out of it. So if you want to by all means feel free, but uh, yeah some more plaster wrap covering the screen just to protect it. I'll probably leave that on as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, as far as how it looks visually, this is absolutely stunning. Like probably one of my favorite designs ever. It's very unique. As far as how it feels in the hand, you almost have it, it just kind of contours to your hand, if that makes sense. Like, look at this. You just, your hand just kind of falls into the groove naturally. Very, very nice, nice design. And uh, anyways, I'm basically putting out a review right now on it. This is more of a first impressions, but Anyways, I'll remove that. Let's see, we got the user manual. I'll definitely be taking a look at that as well. Uh, there is a USB port on there. I don't know if it's a charge port or an update port. We will find out. And if it is a charge port, what kind of charge can it support? Beautiful USB here, actually. It looks pretty long. Oh, maybe it's just the bag that kind of 
looked uh, deceiving there, but USB. Warranty, warranty terms. If you guys want to pause that, hopefully it's in focus. Looks like it's a 120 day warranty. And then uh, you got a register code down here. I don't know if I showed it or not. I'll leave it off the screen for now, but I don't know if there's any harm in that. I usually don't register anything anyways, so. And look at that, look at that. This is perfect. You know, we've, we're starting to see a lot more of these caution cards in these devices where it's, you know, do not use batteries with uh, any sort of damage to them. And I mean, you can see here, if you want to pause that, you can just read it. But on the back here, some visuals, really nicely done. Obviously, a no, do not unwrap your batteries, please. Um, obviously, no, you want to make sure that insulator is sealed on there nicely, like in this picture. And even chewed up wraps like this are definitely no-nos. So look at that. And uh, you want to make sure this white part right up there, that is your installation ring. Make sure you have that on your battery, please. Otherwise, it will short out and it is not going to be fun. But no, really nice card. Very nicely put together. Uh, packaging was great. The app, I absolutely love the design of the mod. Um, I, I'm surprised they sent this to me, to be honest. Like I, I'm actually extremely, I guess, flattered would be the best word to put that I was actually honored enough to receive one of these. Like I said, I have been looking at these for a while now and uh, don't know too much about them. Just like them visually. I'm just going to have one as, you know, like I said, more of a display piece. But uh, getting one sent to me is absolutely incredible. And I mean, just the way it looks is stunning, stunning. But we'll go back up top, guys. I will uh, finish off the, I guess, the uh, unboxing or vape mail edition of this slash unofficial review of both the devices I got. And we'll uh, then we'll go back to, to doing some rambling here. So anyways, I will see you guys back up top. All right, guys, we are back up top. That does it for the bait mail portion. If you want to stick around for some rambling, please feel free. Otherwise, you know, enjoy the video and uh, look forward to those reviews coming out as well over the next couple weeks. I'm really excited for those, honestly, and a big thank you to GearBest for sending those to me. I was not expecting that, and it actually means a lot to me that, uh, that they thought of me like that, and they were willing to send those things to me. I don't even think I told them about the... Uh, the stars mod that I was looking at because I, I don't think I ever told them. I don't think I ever, eh. I may have put it in my cart to be honest. So maybe, I don't know, maybe they somehow found it in my cart and were like, you know what, we're going to send it to him because he didn't order it. But I don't know. I mean, it's, it's interesting. So thank you again, GearBest. I'm really looking forward to doing reviews on those. I'm looking forward to having that stars mod for a very long time and just having it as a display piece. It's absolutely stunning. So thank you again. Other than that, let's get to rambling. I got a few things I want to talk about here really quickly.